Got a Bounder Class A over there. A few semis today. And some beautiful weather. I am loving this right now. I needed to see some sun. Flushing that rain, I think. That is cold. That was a cold rain. So on my way to rest area, going from northbound to southbound. Got up the freeway and flipped around to go south. Uh, made it about I don't know, maybe a mile or two going south, and then I heard a weird pop and a sound like a belt broke. And sure enough, there is a belt that broke. But the first thing I'm seeing is steam. And I smell antifreeze and it is dripping out onto the ground. So we got steam coming up. Yeah, it was like a weird pop and then a whapping and that I got a belt that tight, I don't know. Seems like it actually kinda just popped off. Which is strange. I don't know how the heck that would pop off. So belt is off and somehow also antifreeze. No pressure in that. I got an extra one on there that goes to the power steering. So if I take this off, that shouldn't be a big deal. I just snipped that. I was thinking about saving it, but there's chunks missing out of it. and It's actually looking kind of aged. The drips look like they're coming off that big hose down there. So hopefully it's just a lower radiator hose. I'll find out here in a minute. Sound like something popped, so maybe that's... The hose exploded. But I'm gonna wait for this to cool down a little more. I wonder if it's my pump. The hose feels fine. I can't find any splits on it. And besides the coolant's not leaking anymore. Anything else leaking in, I see drips around here, dripping off the big hose and dripping right below this, so. The engine was also running really funny like it was so maybe that's seizing up or something okay so i need like a tote a reservoir so i could drain all that antifreeze into at least catch it when i pull the pump off okay i got the serpentine from the alternator pulled off and pushed back getting off the uh, power steering pump built off now easy fix that is a relief really didn't want to do a water pump a hose get that done in 30 minutes and show an image of it on a radiator hose make emergency fuel or water hose repairs withstands fuel salt water oil and essence temp range up to 500 degrees Now there's no way I can get this on without taking the hose off. It's too tight of a spot. All right, some duct tape and a hose clamp. Temporary fix that should get me to a auto parts store. I wasn't able to get the uh, the drip to stop dripping, and the surface needs to be clean on the hose for that self-sealing tape to work. Else needs to be stretched and overlapped. So I really didn't think that self-sealing stuff was gonna work. Getting the hose ordered. Looks like I gotta wait till tomorrow anyway, but at least I got the leak to stop dripping onto the ground. Okay, I got another problem. The fuel pressure gauge is pegged all the way. Looks like that belt also 
core wire out of my pressure sensor. Cranking up that diesel heater. It's getting cold out. 66 degrees in here. Okay, here's the plan. This is my original list. Store the e-bike. I'm gonna do that after my... Uh, got one more place I want to take it on a cruise. And then I'm going to store it just to save on room and uh, I need to focus my attention to other things. I need to get food. Uh, but then importantly, most importantly, antifreeze. I topped off the water and brought in... I have a... Always got a couple gallons of distilled on me. So I went and topped it off. It was pretty low actually as it sat there for an hour while I worked on it dripped out quite a bit of coolant. It's like maybe a full quart. Oil and filter, might as well do an oil change. Want to get a bucket or some kind of big tray for coolant. Alright, oil cage is looking better. It's like 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning and uh, just gonna let this run for a little bit and then get going. It's vibrating really bad. Not really, really bad. vibration to it that wasn't there before. I'm wondering if I bent a pulley when that belt, I don't know, flipped around or got caught underneath another belt. Be right. Tape wrap seems to be holding. That was kind of weird. It looks like my crank pulley is moving in and out, like forward and back. The crankshaft harmonic balancer is a device connected to the front of an engine's crankshaft. Number one, engine vibration. Number two, misaligned timing marks. And number three, a separated harmonic balancer. This sounds like what I got. Another more serious symptom of a problem with the harmonic balancer is a separated harmonic balancer. If the rubber layer in the harmonic balancer dries or wears out, it can cause the entire harmonic balancer to completely fail by separating. If the harmonic, harmonic balancer separates, the engine belts will usually come off and the vehicle will be left without engine accessory. Well, yeah, the belts didn't really come off. One did. The harmonic balancer is an engine component found on virtually all rotating internal combustion engines and plays an important role in protecting the engine from dangerous harmonic vibrations and potential damage. Yeah, so there's something on the front of that crank that's spinning that didn't spin before. Let me take a better look at that and see what the heck happened. Uh, looks like I shouldn't have been driving. It's hard on the engine. Alright, just picked up my radiator hose. Matches up perfectly. Got a couple things that coolant. Probably need a bit more than that, but it's all I can carry with me. Along with a new drain pan. Good quality. Set that there. I have a tow truck on the way. Having it towed back to the ranch. I can't do a... That's just a bunch of work I don't really feel like doing in a parking lot. So, um, yeah, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna get some groceries. Alright, there's lunch. My kale and ham and mustard and mayonnaise. 
Kobe Jack cheese sandwich. And this ham is actually pretty dang good. I like it. Castlewood. I have to remember that. I'm here and looking at this vibration damper and I can see a chunk of rubber sticking out of it. I mentioned earlier I saw something spinning around that shouldn't be. That's what I saw. It was like a just a piece of rubber sticking out. So yeah, that is de I definitely that is definitely the damper that went out. All right, you guys, finally, I got the tow truck guy here. He's over there. And he's gonna come over here and get me. I had to pick a better spot for him to hook up, so I rolled over here. Get going here in a minute. This time the last guy just bungeed it up this guy wanted to take it completely off he's this guy's awesome he's a lot better than the, than the last guy I used he's taking off the straps right now and then he's gonna drop me drive lights on put it in park but I'm gonna hang out here just in case it rolls back here we go oh that feels so weird
<laughs> hey, good thing I got two bears. I buy two pairs of everything I like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get that thing going. Okay. all the way back to so new project coming up kind of sad I drove over my glasses I heard the crunch it was my glasses this is called moon dogs I have an extra pair I buy two of everything I like It's not completely done yet. Ah, oh, I crooked it on my head. <laughs> 